Morning guys. Doing the third triple nickel trapper. Oh darn. Ah, my curiosity got the best of me this morning. It's the 4th of October. I want to see what that meat in these piles is doing. I see ravens and magpies taking off, but let's see what happened at night. Well, it's already pretty warm out. Looks like by the weekend that should all uh, subside. Okay. There's still a fair chunk of bait here. It's been chewed on though. I don't know if you can see all the bite marks and whatnot, but. And that bird is definitely chewed more. All right. I figured there'd be a couple days worth in there. Let's check out Lindsay's. Wouldn't that be something if that was empty? We got birds here. So there must still be something left. Be the first time ever if there is. Lindsay pile. Oh my. Oh my. Did they do a number on this? I expected there to, you know, take a pounding, but not that much. It's over half the gun. There's some over there on the ground. Wow, there's some over there on the ground. I got to think that they like this bait. I'm going to take a walk around there and just see what look like. I got another trailer I got to pick up in a few hours, so... Looks like they'll be coming back here. Yeah, there's one there. There's one there. One over there. Some over there. Let's wander over that way a bit. Yeah, there's a big chunk of rib there. Wow. Are they cutting some trails for me? There's a piece over there. And those pieces are big enough that it ain't the magpies and ravens moving them. This has to changed totally too. It's been getting a workout. Oh man. I don't see any food on there. But they are using it. I think I'll stick one back there and one right up here when we start. I still don't have my uh, power ram permit, so I got to get that happening. Call the COs, and I can never get an answer there. I might have to call Melfort. Wow, there are some trails cut in here now. Good. Oh well, let's go find another spot. We don't have to go to Sawyer's with any bait today. Wouldn't hurt to come here and dump a tub or two. Want to keep them happy here. Maybe we'll get out to that cow bush. It's not very far away, a mile or two. Let's see if we can put a bait pile in there too now. Talk to you guys in a bit. Well, that meat sure didn't last long in here. I see a bone out there. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Probably watching on a lot bigger screen than I am. Bird over there. Oh well, we're gonna go get bait in about another hour or two. And we will definitely remember to leave some here. They be coming. Good. Good, good. All right, I'm gonna grab something to eat and then I'm gonna go get my bait trailer filled and hopefully I can get it all dumped out in my new sites before uh, the live tonight. I gotta put a little more in Lindsay's and some in here and then I'll dump the other two new sites. I got three I could do, but I don't know if I have enough bait, so we'll see. This is for you, Dan and Casey. Quite a few birds out here. Oh, look at them on the 
point over there. I got my bait trailer behind me and I figured uh, there's lots of them here that haven't even tried to fly yet. Tons of birds. Alrighty, away we go. We got our bait tubs all full. We only got about a two and a half hours to get this off and make the live, so well, we're at the gray bush. This is where the bait was a couple years ago. You gotta see my walk through here now. Well, for one thing, that tree snapped off. It's laying right there. Those trees snapped off. And they're laying all over my trail here. We had a uh, raccoon box just in there. And then there's this. Yeah, we closed that off all with that wind and trees blowing down. You had better be looking up walking in here, guys. So I don't know. I don't think this is a great place for a bait pile because I'll end up taking a tree in the head or something during the winter. But there's lots of good spots along here. Alrighty. Hey guys, we're at the uh, hidden house here already. I never, I put a bait pile out of grays there and uh, I never showed you because I'm in such a hurry to, I got like four o'clock right now. I got to be on that live at 555 and I'm still pretty laden with bait. So I didn't show you, okay, I'm not coming in the right spot here. I didn't show you the gray one, but we'll see that I'm sure. We'll come down here. Yeah. I'm thinking right in between here. Not crazy lot of bush, but I mean, their trails are right beside the trees in here, so it's pretty easy to get them. I guess I can back down some more. Got to line up right with here so I don't have to carry that tub anymore. I'll tell you what, you sure learn a thing or two when you have to carry your own bait in. Like, Carry it downhill. Come back uphill with the empty thing. That's the way to go. Anyhow, I'm in a hurry, guys. Good morning, guys. It's October 5. I was just pulling up to this Sawyer's Cross out on the road over here. And great big light, light, light coyote is running towards the bait pile. There goes some ravens. So they know it's here. I like that seeing them in the day. Yeah, there's some ravens flying around up. Oh my. Oh my. Well, I did not expect that. Bones out there. Hey, that whole bloody pile. You guys remember yesterday there was still quite a bit here. Huh. But we are seeing a lot more trails now, aren't we? Look at this one. That's a good one. Oh, well, yeah. There's still food here. They just pulled it out of the way. Boy, there's some good trails now. This one. Okay, I got some on the trailer. Damn, I was going to start another bait pile, but... You know what? Boy, now I gotta make a decision whether I wanna hump some in or. Uh, I don't know. I will let you know what I do though. Well, we're back at the Lindsay bait. I still see bait here. I did not see any dogs running away here. I added a tub at uh, Sawyer's Cross. I don't like leaving them empty like that, but. 
there is a lot of bait here, but I threw all those great big leg bones on top of it, so it was harder to get them out. Boy, I can sure see some trails cut in there now. Well, good. I don't have to add anything here. I've got a jug of juice there for uh, the two bait piles I started yesterday. Check on them. Give them each a half a jug. And you know what? It looks like I better get my butt in gear and get out to La Ross and fill this bait trailer again. Oh, going through the bait. I would like to have at least 10 bait piles up by when I start. So far we got five, so we're halfway there. All right. Here's the gray bait pile. A little magpie on it already. I just brought a crane in and threw it in the pile. All these birds you guys that I'm using, they're all breasted already. So I just had a chat with uh, Mr. Timichuk, the CEO. Asked him about these birds and he said as long as they're breasted, it's good. And I make sure they are breasted now. I also got the the number for permission at the uh, the crown again, and I got my power ram permit coming in the mail. So we got a whole bunch done sitting in the truck, and that don't happen very often. I did find a place that real close, like 40, 45 minute drive, that has my stretchers. So so I'm gonna get another half a dozen of them, and then on my five five day rotation I'll have one extra stretcher and who knows maybe I won't I want to try doing three a day while we're we're at it so anyway there's that bait pile I never showed you yesterday and a little bit of rambling I said I wasn't going to go get bait till Wednesday but my tubs are empty I guess I'm on my way back at the cow bush tubs are empty See if I can find an angle here where you can see it. Maybe right there. Bait pile in there. Lots of little bush in here for him to run around in. All right, I'm on my way out to La Ross to get in and hit bull again. So, giddy up. No rest for Dwayne. Well, got back to Sawyer's Cross here. I went and filled up again. Man, that's some good looking bait. I can get that every day, so I should be set pretty good. And once it gets cooler, I can separate it and freeze it in individual blocks and in the shop or whatever, right? So I wanted to stop here again because I only put a bucket out and I just saw another coyote coming up here and I'm thinking that maybe they're hitting this bait daytime too so I'm just gonna walk in and look if it's pulled apart I'm plenty tired I've been baiting for two days in a row now I saw a big raven jump up when I parked but there's a few little pieces in that pile when I dumped it so oh yeah they hit it already Definitely hit already. It's almost nothing left there. This should be a pretty magical bush this winter too. It always is though. There's a trail right through there. Okay. Time to start humping in some more meat. Just come to check on Lindsay's bait pile. It looks good. I uh, I threw some in earlier today. It's it'll be fine. I'm gonna take tomorrow off and go to uh, Damn Beaver and pick up some supplies for the season. And uh, I'll come out and bait when I get home. When it gets a little cooler, it's supposed to be like 30 tomorrow again. I'm still seeing snakes on the road, and it's October 5th. Oh well, maple bugs on the house, that's usually, in October, that's a sign of a late, late winter, so probably November before a guy can get out here hitting dogs. Oh well, we won't, uh, 
we won't write it off just yet. We're in the game, so that's all that matters. I sure I'm happy with the quality of bait I'm getting. All right, we'll pick this up tomorrow at uh, Cam Beaver. I'm going to go wrap this meat up and put it in the shade. Hey, guys. It's the 6th, October. And as promised, I'm at Dan Beaver. Pick up some supplies. See who's all in here. Probably Ian or Corey. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hello, Dan Beaver. How are you? Good, man. I haven't seen you in a while. I you for yeah, I shaved it just to confuse everybody this morning. <laughs> Looking good in here, buddy. Yeah, thank you. I need a bunch of stuff. I think you can help me out, eh? Yeah, should be okay. All right. We're going to get to business here, guys. All right, we're uh, all finished at Dan Beaver here now. I got a couple of safeties. Some of those ones that I hang in the trees are kind of sketchy, so some wire. Uh, 24 more wolf masters and six more coyotes, so that puts us at 151. And that box has got uh, six dozen tie downs, some eight footers and six footers, and 27 dozen wolf master uh, snares and 10 dozen coyote ones. All right, so she's about 170 kilometers to my house from here. I didn't think it was that far, but. I'm going to go back the back roads on the way home and uh, I think I probably cut about 15 or 20 off of there so all right guys got a bag of uh, Kentucky Fried when I went through Yorkton because I do not get much fast food out in this country let's get moving hey guys it's uh, October 7th we're gonna just get around the baits make sure they're topped off I got some birds from Duck Hunter this morning. Uh, I've still got the trailer with probably three quarters to half a load on. So we'll hit what we got right now and then we'll start expanding. We'll start uh, filling the back of the truck instead of the trailer. And I'll be pulling the side by side on the trailer and we'll be hitting some deeper spots. So this looks good to go still. All right, threw a couple ducks in there. They are pulling pieces out, so that's a good thing. You know how it is, they start out slow, but I think we'll be all right. All right, let's get out to uh, Sawyer's. Well, we're in Sawyer's. A lot of that's too big to pull away, so they're just chewing it up right there. I. Uh, Brought another load in and a few ducks too. We're trying to uh, get this done here so I can upload this video for you guys tonight. So hopefully I can get it either late enough for a late night one or Reaper with his coffee in the morning, you know. All right, I'm gonna dump this and get over to Lindsay's. Look at this shit. My best bait of the year so far, and they decide to come out and disc it up for me so that I can hop around like, wow. We've probably still got bait here, some big bones. Yeah, they're not even trying to haul them big bones away. I'm gonna throw a bunch more in here, some ducks. And then we got three left after this one. Some pretty new ones, so one of them gets a uh, shot of oil too. So, man, I can't believe they tore that field up here. I better get out here with uh, some shovels and straighten that out. It's ridiculous, and I got a carry stuff across that oh well now yeah, we're in the cow bush now guys well, it looks like I'm all over that tree well I wanted to get close I would like to get even farther down here but it don't look like that's gonna happen 
I am not too sure if I've shown you this bait or not before. I think I have, but I'll get a close look at it now. I gotta put some oil down. Boy, I'd say that looked pretty quiet. Hmm. Oh well, we'll get that stinky oil down. That usually brings them in. And I'll hump some more. For being a cooler day, man, and you know what? It's pretty warm. I'm not sure what it is, but the wind is down, and it's actually not a bad day. All right, chop, chop. Walking into our gray bush here. I skipped another one because I think I might put another bait pile out. I still got quite a bit of bait on the trailer. Well, they've been here. They looks like they took and ran. Huh, that way. You can see where they kicked up the, the uh, leaves. Okay. Well, we're going to still add some more. I'm going to throw a couple of those stinky birds in here too. So Then we'll get back to that uh, hidden house. And then whatever's left on the trailer, I'm going to dump it at the uh, the old bait pile from the cow bush. It's grown in quite a bit. You'll be surprised. That hidden house now. Well, let's see what it looks like happened here. Magpies. I'm not seeing a lot of dragged away pieces or anything. Huh. Oh well, I'm going to throw some of them stinky birds in here. Because it just seems like that's a good way to get them dogs starting to roll. They seem to really like them stinky, rotten birds. I only get them on the second day after they're shot. So they're not smelling all fresh as a daisy. So they can smell them from a ways away with the wind especially. So I'll doctor this up and we'll keep moving forward. cow bush some more undergrowth did a pile here this is our old tree there's all kinds of bones around here the only way in is down that side big turn here and that is my way out just to the right side of that birch tree there so you know that's a popper never mind just to the right side of it over here there's a lot of overgrown there, but... Oh, geez, yeah, a lot. But yeah, we're going right straight through there. Pete's only a couple, three miles away. I'm going to go upload a video for you guys. Then I'm going to get home and uh, get all this stuff put away. So, everybody, thanks for coming along. Won't be long now. We'll be putting some dogs up. You keep moving forward. to the right of that tree. Next time, guys.